This satellite can tell us how much water is flowing through all of the Earth's rivers into the ocean, all the way from space. NASA is launching an international satellite mission that will conduct the first global survey of the world's surface waters, helping shed new light on the mechanics and consequences of climate change. Hey, look, I can tell you for any big river system in the world, I can tell you how much water is coming out of that right now. And we're doing that from a satellite. I mean, how, that's just fundamentally really cool. The satellite is dubbed SWOT, short for Surface Water and Ocean Topography. It was designed and built at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, near Los Angeles, in collaboration with NASA's counterparts in France and Canada. The satellite employs advanced microwave radar technology to give scientists an unprecedented view of the life-giving fluid covering 70% of the planet. Researchers say the data will enhance ocean circulation models, bolster weather and climate forecasts, and help manage scarce freshwater supplies in drought-stricken regions. NASA's SWAT freshwater science lead, Tamlin Pavelski, explains. So the big difference with SWAT is we're going to take this sort of static estimate where we can say, yeah, you know, this is probably about how much water there is total in the world's lakes. And we're going to be able to make that, first of all, dynamic. We're going to be able to see uh, when it's higher or when it's lower. And we're going to be able to make it much more granular. So we're going to be able to say, here's how much water there is, not just for the whole world, but also for individual regions and individual lakes and, re and uh, reservoirs and rivers. One major thrust of the mission is to explore how oceans absorb atmospheric heat and carbon dioxide in a natural process that moderates global temperatures and climate change. This will help scientists learn more about the effects of rising ocean levels on coastal areas, says NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory scientist Ben Hamlington. So, so one of the things SWAT is going to do is it's going to get us closer to the coast than what we've had with other satellite observations. So um, a lot of the satellites we have have difficulties measuring in the coastal zone um, because of the, the type of technology that's used, the radar um, pulses that we typically rely on can get contaminated by land versus ocean. SWAT's going to make a big advance there. It's going to push us closer to the coast and allow us to see that interface that land-ocean interface a little more closely and directly. Freshwater bodies are another key focus of SWAT. The satellite is equipped to observe the entire length of nearly all rivers wider than 330 feet, as well as more than 1 million lakes and reservoirs larger than 15 acres. Taking inventory of Earth's water resources will enable researchers to better trace fluctuations in the planet's rivers and lakes during seasonal changes and major weather events. Satellites don't last forever, but three years of data, that's gonna tell us what's the state of the planet right now, right? It's gonna give us like three cycles of, you know, uh, winter, spring, summer, fall. And, uh, you know, that'll tell us, yeah, what's, what's the state of the planet now? And so as the climate changes and uh, the way we use land and water changes, we'll be able to use that as a baseline to compare against in the future.